Hello, this is Jan from Red Toad Art Studio, and today we are going to do the fourth and the last in our series of astronauts and robots. We've done two astronauts and one robot, and today we are going to do the last robot. And these are my pattern pieces that I've cut out ready to use. You will want to download our free pattern pieces at Red Toad Art Studio so that you can cut them out and cut around them and cut them or color them in any way you wish. Okay. So I've got my pattern pieces out here and I had to cut four of number 17. No, actually I cut five because down the middle here you'll see one that his his spine. So four number seventeens, two number sixteens, two number nineteens, one eighteen, one two threes, because one of them is his face, and one number eleven. So for his body I cut a number three and in number 11, and I cut them out of bright paper. Just take your pattern piece, lay it on a piece of colored paper that you want to use, draw around it, and cut it out. As simple as that. And this is his body. I have some background paper cut out and ready to fit in my book. So let's do that first. I wanted to make a bright picture today, so I chose some bright colors here. And this is darker, but it contrasts well with the bright colors. So let's get to gluing. Be sure I have this right side up because I have some writing on here, and we want that to look right. And I'm going to use my stick glue on the back of this. Let me get the big stick. And we'll cover it well with our glue. This purple glue gets messy for some reason. But we'll smooth it out. We don't want any lumps under there to show on our picture. And this will fit right here and we'll smooth it from the center out get rid of any air bubbles that might be there okay let's glue this piece Okay, let's put it on this side and line it up as best as we can. And use our scraper from the center outwards. Before we put our bottom on, let's give it a uh, roll with the brayer. Right, and I picked out a piece of paper to be the floor for my robot to stand on. 
Hmm, I think I need to cut this down just a little bit. It should come to the edge here, right here. So let's cut that down. Get my cutter out here and line it up. And I keep all these little pieces to use in some other collages. See how this fits. Perfect. So let's glue that. I think we have a start to a real nice bright collage today. Try to get your pieces of paper well covered with glue so we don't get bubbles underneath. It seems like we do anyway somewhat, but we try to get as few as possible. Okay. Get those two colors to meet there. I like that background. It's a little crooked, but it'll be fine. Let's brayer the back. As I've said in my other videos of this, we are doing this in an old calendar of mine, and it makes it's a beautiful book. Look at the front of this. Isn't that beautiful? It seemed a shame to waste it, write in it for a year, and then toss it away. So I decided to make a collage book out of it. Now, let's see. Place this up here. We don't want to glue yet. We want to be sure we have all of our things placed. And then... We cut out five of these. One of these is for a spine. Two of them is for legs. Let's see. The two biggest will be his legs. They're really the same size on the pattern pieces, but you'll find that you have a tendency to draw and cut them a different size. Two arms. And this goes underneath for his spine. We'll fit that under better later. All right, and then I cut his feet out of the same material as this. That's disturbing me. Let me, there we go. His feet, and we did his hands. These now don't look a lot like hands, but I wanted to do something different than the other ones we had done. And so I drew two hats. And then just on the side of this, instead of coming straight across, I did a little curve in for his thumb. See? And we had a head. And you can draw your own face on there. Now, my robot is a singing robot. So his mouth is wide open and he's just belting it out like crazy. But your robot can be doing anything you want him to do. I just chose to have mine be a singer. And he's wearing a hat. Well, I think... We'll see when we glue it down what we like the best. But he has a big old hat on. Now... 
before I glue it down, I need to place some other items. Since he's a singer, he's going to be holding on to a mic. Got to have that, don't you? I think this whole thing will have to be moved down a little bit. Because he's singing and some music is going to be coming out of his mouth. And this will need to be moved down just a bit. And down here is a radio. Now he's either singing on the radio or he's listening to the radio and singing with it. Who knows? I need, but yeah. I can tell I need to move all of this down a bit. I think we want room for the radio down here. Hmm. Let's see. We can do it something like that. And his spine will have to come down here. And be about like that. And his head will come over here. And his music will be over here. All right. Let's see if we can fit him in. Let's start gluing. I think... Let's glue his legs in first. So we'll push these up. Push these down a little bit. And get his legs glued in. Get his shoes. Oh, I think we should get his spine next. I want to tip it a little bit so it looks like his body is kind of dancing to the music as he sings. So here's his body pieces. Let's do kind of crooked like that. Would it be better this way or this way? Yeah, I think that way. Now, I did some mark making on my pieces after I cut them out. I put these dots on here and these dots down here. So you can mark on top of your pieces and make any additions you want to. Ah, but I made a mistake. So quick, while this is still wet, we need to pull the ends up to fasten our arms under. Now, this arm is going to fit real tight under there. I haven't got much room over there, but we'll get it fixed in. 
and this edge needs to go under there. That works. And we'll get the other arm before that dries. And we're going to stick it out a little bit so he's holding his mic. Like that. And I think he's going to be cute. You never know when you start out to make a collage what's going to happen and what it's going to look like. Because usually it's one of a kind. You don't make a bunch of collages the same. You don't have the same materials. Okay, let's... All right, we'll put his head there. Singing away. Let's put his hat on. Hmm. I think my robot really likes to sing. we go. I think he should have a little bit of a neck because his spine didn't come up far enough. So let's just draw kind of a partial circle there like his spine is coming on up. Alright. Let's attach his hand here. One over here. Yeah, that'll fit. Now, I cut a little slit in this hand, right where his thumb is, so he can hold the microphone. Let's see how we want it. It's kind of hard to get, let's see. I think, let's move that. It should go in something like that, underneath the thumb. See, does that look right? Let's just slip it underneath the thumb. He's got funny hands anyway. The best he has funny hands. Let's do it something like that. So, I will put some glue here and not glue his thumb down yet. And then we will be able to slip his mic right under there. How do you think about that? By the way, I found the mic and the radio I'm going to be using in Utterly Random Fussy Cut Book for Collage Creating. And this is on Amazon and has a lot of cute things in it. Slip that under his thumb. And we'll put a dab of glue under his thumb. There we go. And we'll fasten that all down nice and tight. I didn't get enough glue there. Let's get a little more under there. There we go. Uh, 
let's see. I want the radio down here. In fact, I would like to have this edged in some ink just to help it blend in to my page. So we'll get my vintage ink out. It's Distress Ink, Tim Holtz, and we're just going to go around the edges of this. going to put it right here. Let's glue this. We're moving right along for this one. Even the radio's dancing. A happy robot. A happy song. Now, let's see about this music. I may need to trim it down just a little. Yeah. We'll trim it down and make it a little smaller. Will it fit now? Let's take a little off here. I think that's about right. Softly now, the lighter day. He must be singing. That sounds like a soft, quiet song, but he looks like he's playing a peppy, jazzy song. Let's get this down. I think maybe I should have picked some better words. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Let's prayer it. Let's flip it over and brayer it. Well, let's uh, scrape it first. We haven't done that since we put our robot on. And we'll brayer it. I like that. And we are finished except for sealing it. Now, I'm going to seal mine in Mod Podge and let it set for a couple hours and then set some heavy books on top of it. And But by the time we've done all that, we should have all the wrinkles out. You'll need some water to keep your brush in. And an old brush. And I just keep my Mod Podge brush in water so it doesn't turn to cement. And it's ideal to have your Mod Podge in a bottle. Like this, a squeeze bottle. And then... You just flatten your podge out. It'll be dry to the touch in about 15 minutes. And a couple hours you can pile some heavy books on it and your picture will be done. 
This one was actually a little easier than the others because we didn't do fancy flying saucers or foil metal parts. But I think it's just as cute. bit more down here. And this will be dry in about 15 minutes. Robart it has been about 15 minutes and our robot is dry to the touch. So I want to give him one last brayering. Get any bubbles that might be there out. And let's do this side again. And we are finished with our last robot. Isn't he cute? There, brighten it up a little bit. I think he is so cute. And I have enjoyed doing him with you on our video. And I hope you have enjoyed it too. Now we will be starting some new things in our next videos. There's many types of collages. I'm not sure even where to start. I know there's more torn paper collages. There's more magazine collages. There's just all kinds. That's what's so interesting about collage. There's painted collages. Just all kinds. And we'll do something new on the next collage. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'm going to say bye-bye for now.